Hi everyone, I uh, just got a, uh, a video here I wanted to make of uh, a really low, low power input uh, Tesla coil. And it's a very small discharge but I'm using about eight, uh, eight hundredths of, a, of an amp at uh, about 12, 12.32 volts. Uh, I think I'll take a voltage reading here, please bear with me. Uh, this is the input battery up here. And I've got an amp meter that shows the uh, what's being drawn out of it. Uh, that's your amps there. It's sitting at 12.223 volts right now. So it's really uh, uh, hasn't been charged in a long time. And then I've got, uh, just for experiments like what I'm doing here today, um, this battery here is actually kind of not very good anymore. But uh, since we're throwing big spikes of, of negative current through it. Well, it's sitting at 12.16 volts there. So anyway, so that's our standing voltage on these batteries. Uh, this battery is coming out of the output here. And sorry for all the wires. It's just uh, isn't so much to go over the specifics here of this device, uh, but to show how much input uh, I can get away with uh, creating a, a Tesla uh, air core transformer here. I can get a small discharge up top, but um, what I've got here for the power coming out of the uh, high voltage uh, um, uh, ignition coil is it goes in through uh, a pancake coil in the on the outer windings here uh, are two foil wrapped uh, and they're immersed in mineral oil and uh, but what it is is a pa uh, pan Tesla pancake coil it goes in all the way through to the middle, back out and uh, through it again. So uh, that output goes out through to this uh, uh, spark gap and then that uh, runs back in through to the middle. Uh, there's yet another bifiller winding on the inside <clears throat> that is just a... Uh, 22 gauge wire that comes out through the primary down here so um, uh, what's happening is, is this this spark gap goes off there's a self inducted uh, capacitive discharge that takes place in there in the pancake coil because it acts like a capacitor so that uh, uh, that creates a, a negative uh, vacuum uh, radiant discharge or not discharge but it picks up a radiant current there's an air, uh, there's a iron core uh, in that inner section there so the bifiller twisted pair that is in uh, in the inside windings that runs through the primary of the Tesla coil uh, is set to discharge over here so this this spark gap relies on that spark gap which is powered by the outer foil winding capacitive uh, self-inducing Tesla pancake coil and then there's another pickup coil on the inside that goes to that one which is through the primary and then this secondary goes to an earth ground that just goes up and outside through my hole there and uh, so anyway yeah that's basically the uh, the story on this and without any further delay I'll just turn it on and what I've got here is I've got the ignition coil turned off at this point um, but you can see the amps. I can dial dial the amps up and down, uh, turn them up or down. However, I like to kind of adjust it, and you'll see that uh, right away. Even just like that, I should have just left that hooked up, um, and I will just leave this hooked up. We're sitting at 17 volts already. I'll turn it down. So that's seven hundredths of an amp. We've got this voltage way up over 16 volts, just like that. So, <clears throat> sorry for the bad reflection. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on the spark gap. So that one's going off, and that one's picking up off of the uh, induction inside the pancake coil, and then we're getting a a discharge up top. And that's at 
an input. I have to switch off the. I can even probably bring that input down. I'll bring. See if I can get it down to about seven hundredths of an amp there. Okay, so I've turned it down. Yeah. And we are still getting charging on the uh, secondary battery. It'll just jump up and down. So we're charging a battery while having this kind of, it drips kind of like water. That's the nice thing about about a, a Tesla pancake coil is that uh, you'll uh, you'll find that the self-inductive properties of that type of coil uh, really make it easy for tuning uh, spark gaps and getting a nice disruptive discharge. So I can just kind of turn the current up across the transistor and it'll be a disruptive disruptive discharge wherever I put it. The only way I can get a reading on this meter. So that's that one tenth of an amp. Up over 13 volts on the secondary. And we're getting a nice steady discharge there. <laughs> so yeah, it's, this is like an extremely efficient Tesla coil. <laughs> Considering that we're we're charging on the secondary bank, and uh, there is a fair bit of uh, back EMF that gets through to the uh, the primary battery at the same time, so you'll find that if I run this, and I mean I've ran this for days and days and days, it it, it pretty much just doesn't discharge uh, these batteries when I turn it off. Sometimes I'll I'll wake up in the morning, it'll be it'll be turned off and self oscillating without any any of the spark gaps going off, which uh, then I just kind of shut it off and let it rest for a little while, come back to it and the voltages will be as high or higher <laughs> and uh, and I just turn it back on and it runs and runs, but that battery in the secondary position doesn't, I think it's not a very good battery anymore, it's it's taken a, a bit of a beating and, and the charging that you're seeing there is really fluffy, it's not being, um, I'm not, um, I should be, you know, putting it through a, uh, um, turning into positive ion uh, charging through a capacitive discharge setup um, using the back EMF for too long or in too high a voltage I think might uh, might slowly destroy these batteries so you have to be careful when, when over charging them right now it's sitting at 13 volts or so which isn't too bad it tends to be a fluffy charge and it's not uh, actualized uh, until you, sometimes you have to let these batteries rest afterwards and, and that potential state that the negative charging creates seems to bring the voltage back up. Anyway, that's just a uh, simple little video, a very efficient Tesla coil setup. And I think what I'm going to do is just for the night I'm gonna run this thing tonight. I think it's at about oh, it's still pretty high. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this thing drip away tonight and uh, we'll have a look at it and see what the voltages voltages are tomorrow. And uh once again, just so you guys can kind of hear what's going on. That's the uh, self-oscillating circuit by filler coil over there that's just whining away. As it powers the capacitor or the pancake coil. Alright, well that's that. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.